Hi, how are we doing today? My name is Todd and I'm here with Hertel Ski Wax. We're sitting down with Terry Hertel and we're going to ask him some questions about what makes his snowboard ski wax so special. All right, so let's start off. Tell me first, what uh, really made you become the wax man? Okay, I first started um, when I invented the original hot waxer for skis. And um, that was an applicator, which we sold over 50,000 units of. Um, and um, I was looking for a decent wax to go with that unit and I couldn't find anything. And so um, I hired a chemist and uh, paid him a fee and he helped me get it going. Uh, who are Skinner and Sherman Labs and what they do for you? Yeah, Skinner and Sherman Laboratories actually breaks down, or they broke down everybody's wax that I could find in the industry and they apply a scientific number to that. Um, I labeled them A, B, C, D all the way down the line so they didn't know that my wax was in there also. And our wax was the only one that they found a significant difference in. What was that difference? The difference was uh, the surfactant, the water soluble surfactant that changes the structure of water underneath uh, our base when we're riding. What's the differences between your product lines and the products you offer? How are they different? Um, well, first of all, the original product that I developed was the Super Hot Sauce in conjunction with Timothy C. Donnelly. Um, that's when we realized that uh, we had a product that we could add to the wax. It's what we call it the microencapsulation process. That we use wax as a vehicle to get this ingredient to the base. So we can actually take our Super Hot Sauce and we can put it on hot or we can rub it on. By the way, if you're in a hurry and you want to go, go riding and you haven't waxed up, just rub that super hot sauce on, you're good to go all day long. So the next thing we realized, the dealers were asking us for a wax that lasted longer. We were trying to listen to our customers, see what they wanted. And with the fluorocarbon, I achieved that also. I developed the new base. The vehicle is a new vehicle. It's not like the traditional waxes. Um, it's much harder, but then again, it's more flexible. So we added both the surfactant and the fluorocarbon into that, and we came up and answered their question once again. Um, then we realized there was one more element, and that basically that's what we're dealing with, is the elements in the snow are, are, are what the snow is made of. When you stand on your, your board or your ski, you create water through friction and weight, a large volume of water. Okay, in the springtime, you create that water, Okay, but you're also standing on another product. If you notice in the morning, you get out there and there's this brown haze everywhere. That just happens to be pollen. Okay, so that's we developed the product called Spring Solution. How did I prove that? I actually gathered up snow from Colorado, Utah, and California and sent it off to another laboratory and they could tell me um, what region of the country that I got that water from. It, it was the, the tree or the sap and that allowed us to develop that spring solution. Uh, what temperatures does your ski wax work at? The super hot sauce, uh, basically six degrees F Fahrenheit up to 52 degrees. Uh, you can pretty, uh, pretty uh, rest assured that it's gonna work all the time. Okay, so in your career, what was the biggest turning point for you in the, the I know it was like the late 80s, early 90s. It was in the, um, in the 80s. Um, Actually, it was um, the Olympics uh, in 88 in Calgary, Urbana, Alberta, Canada. Um, I was the official supplier to the U.S. Ski Team Freestyle Division, and we brought home uh, a, a lot of gold and a lot of silver. Um, that was the year that we introduced uh, the fluorocarbons to the, the ski and the snowboard industry. We were the first ones. Um, and then we went from there um, to where we are today. So, uh, Terry, tell me about these fluorocarbons. I'm really interested to know what they're all about. Okay, first of all, um, it was probably our most significant advancement in um, the snow sports industry when it comes to skis and snowboard waxing. Um, that was the first product where we changed the base wax and then we were at microencapsulating the surfactants and then the fluorocarbons with that. Um, what that what that did for us was uh, we have one product change in the structure of water, we have another product rejecting and changing the structure of water. It also allowed us to get the wax to bond that nobody's ever been able to do to the base. 
So the fluorocarbon, when we're putting on on hot, it works its way back into the pores and hangs on to the, to the wax. Okay, so we get up to seven days from a wax job. That's very significant. Cost performance is there. If you just take the numbers and calculate it out, that's the least expensive product that we've got. We developed this product, um, and uh, lo and behold, somebody else came up and said they had a fluorocarbon also. Um, it just happens to be the other people out there, the fluorocarbons are PTFE, which is a, a DuPont product called Teflon. And it's powder. We do not use any powders in our Teflon at all. We are all temperature in every product that we, we have. If you'll notice that other fluorocarbons are basically uh, temperature or color specific. Um, with the Racing 739, um, there isn't another fluorocarbon like this on the market. So and that's what allows us to stay ahead of uh, just about anybody that thinks that they're going to come up with another fluorocarbon.